Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be just doing a, a real short piping exercise showing the 3D. I'm also going to get into some uh, uh, tips uh, as far as how to use some of the piping tools that are in our, our module. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be very elementary in this video. I'm going to walk you through basically every click so that those that uh, are new to CAD can follow along as well. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this uh, right here, we have a, a shortcut to our views. And this is available in 2019, which we'll be releasing in June of 2018. So um, uh, as I'm recording it, it's only about a week or two away. So uh, stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and choose isometric. So that puts us into the isometric view. And we're going to check our object snaps down here. Right click on that. Click on the eSnap settings and make sure that we have endpoint, quadrant, center, and node turned on. Uh, we'll also want the polar snapping turned on as well, so I'm going to click on this. Uh, we could use this as well. Um, either is fine. So let's uh, just click on that. Um, and we're going to load up our piping tools. Currently I have a three inch pipe uh, drawn here. Let's go ahead and start with that. So we've got the straight piece here. We'll click on this, we'll click view draw. We'll click our first point. And you can see that little green dash that's telling us the direction. We need to be snapped on that angle. So position your cursor there and then type in the distance. So let's go ahead and type in one foot. Now we don't see our pipe yet, and that's because it wants us to continue on and maybe do a 90 degree. But for this pipe, we just want a straight piece. So we just click enter again or the return button. And that puts in our uh, piece of pipe there, you can see. So I'm using the uh, scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom down. Uh, also to pan, hold down that uh, wheel and you can kind of drag your drawing around. Now if you don't have a wheel on your mouse, you can um, hold down the control button and then do it that way and then drag your um, the left button on your cursor. All right, so for those that are uh, just getting into CAD, we also have a, a elementary series that I can send you just um, be sure to email me. Um, I'll give you my email at the end of this video uh, so that if you wanted to sign up for that class, you can do so. So we got a one foot piece of pipe in here. Um, that's three inches. Now if we wanted to put a flange on the end of this, I'm going to go back into the piping dialog again. I click on the flange, view draw, I've got the welding neck uh, flange activated, which is what, the one I want, but there's all kinds here. I choose it from this point here. These are uh, pick sensitive, so by picking this one, we're going to be choosing this icon. Now, if you look at in the model, you can see a little X right there. Well, that X is basically saying that's the last point I entered in MetQ. Now, if we don't want to um, snap to the end of that pipe, we could just press the enter key, and that's basically what I'm going to do. So pressing the enter key um, selects that last point. So that puts our flange in. Um, the next thing I thought I'd show you is how to do a T. So let's go ahead and select a T from this small mini dialog. And I want to reduce T here, so I'm going to reduce it down to two inches. And again, these are snap sensitive. So by picking this one, I'm selecting the uh, bottom of the T, which I don't want. The one I want is basically this one, because I'm going to be attaching it right here. So I'm going to pick this with the left button on my mouse. Uh, it's giving this this error message because it wants us to finish out that flange, but we don't want to. And then 
We don't want that last point either. We want to select a new point, which is right here. And you can see the, uh, the circle basically saying that that's the center of the, uh, the pipe. We just left click on that. We pick a point in the upstream direction. Now, if, if your cursor is like mine, where it doesn't want to snap into that angle, hold down your shift key on your keyboard to lock that in. Otherwise, you're going to get a bad result. So lock that in and at the same time, hold it down and then left click. So that basically allows us to rotate this T around uh, you know that straight piece of pipe so we want to rotate it down and I'm just moving my cursor or my mouse up and down to to get that rotation and once I get it positioned then I left click then that puts the T in okay the next um, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a reducer in which is right here See, I'm going to go from a 3 inch to a 2 inch. I could go the other way if I wanted to. If I was like working this way, I'd choose the expansion. But I'm wanting to reduce it down to a 2 inch. So again, I click this icon here. You can see the last point there. So I can uh, press the enter or return button. And that puts in the reducer. Um, Let's go ahead and put a straight piece of pipe on the end of that reducer. Now MetQ knows that we're going down to a two inch at this point, so we don't need to tell it that. Uh, so we'll uh, press enter for our last point there. We'll point the cursor in the direction of flow, making sure that it's locked, and it is locked, and we'll type in another one foot there. Now this time I'm going to go down with it. So um, I'm going to go down six inches. I'm pointing the cursor down six inches. Type six, press enter. So now I can just press the enter key again to get that you know six inch piece in there, and then I'm fine. Now I can uh, go ahead and put a flange on the end of that. So let's click this. We'll select this one. And you can see that last point way down there in the upper, or I should say the lower right. I press enter. Then that flange inserts. We'll do another flange. Click this one, and I'm going to put one right here down at the bottom of that fitting there. Make sure that I'm snapped to the center of it. Upstream direction is this way, and the flange goes in. Now, let's say if I wanted to align these two flanges. I'm going to show you a little uh, tool here uh, brought to you by Real World CAD. Uh, which basically provides all these tools here and we thank them for all these tools. We're going to use this one. It's called Slide Item by Point. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go into my View tab here and I want to kind of rotate this model around a little bit so I be sure that I'm selecting the center of these pipes because I don't want to select the center of these bolt holes, uh, which can easily be done if I'm not in the right view. So I want to also turn the shading off. To do that, I'm going to do Shade, Mode, and then I want 2D wireframe. So that way I can look at it a lot better. So uh, the slide tool is going to ask us for the access of this pipe here. So let's zoom down into the on that flange here real quick and choose the piping tools which is here and we want the slide item by point we select the flange which is here you press enter 
And now we define the slide axis, which would be the point here, and then the center here. Now it wants the alignment point. Uh, so this is going to be how we align the flange with the other flange. So notice the diamond shaped uh, snap mode there. And it says quadrant, so we select this. And then the point to align it with would be this quadrant down here. So that moves it down uh, and, uh, and aligns this exactly with the other flange, which is what we want. So let's go back into the uh, piping menu and we're gonna be just putting that straight piece on. Again, we're getting that warning, but that's okay. Uh, the center of this pipe down to the center of this. We press enter and lastly let me show you how to do the weld alette which is right here um, let's go out to the main menu first because we need to change this to three inches so we've got this three inch selected because we want to put the weld alette on this side of the model where our three inch pipe is so now we're ready to select the weld alette and click the view draw button and our outlet size is going to be half inch. So we need to pull that down. And then we just select the icon here to start drawing. We're going to select the center of this point here. That's the end of our T. We'll left click there once we see the, uh, the circle there. Once we uh, know we're snapped into the center of that pipe. And then the direction is going to be this way. Now again, I need to hold down my shift button to lock in on that angle. So hold that down and then left click. And now I can rotate that weld let up to the top just by moving my, my mouse there. Left click to lock that in and then now we can move this by just highlighting it, typing M for move and then we can move that again holding my ship button down we can move that let's say down three inches away we'll type three hold the shift down and then press enter so now we know that's three inches away from the end of that T by the way I had that selected there and you know whenever you want to get out of something like you highlighted something you want to get out of it press the escape button um, not the greatest idea to do in the middle of a command. Best to press the X key if there's an exit key available. But for the most part, just pressing the escape key is a good way to um, deselect an object. All right, so let's go into the isometric view again. And now we can go ahead and just shade this. And we can see our model there. I'm going to go ahead and save this model and then come back to it and do a couple more videos about it. We're going to do a 2D extraction from it. Then I'm going to show you maybe how to put some bubbles and do a bill of materials. But for now, that's the video for today and hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.